Hello all, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Welcome to part 8 in our series on building a basic PHP login system. I wanted to extend what we had discussed in parts 1 through 7 and add on a little bit of more advanced functionality um, so it's a more fully featured system. So what we're going to be discussing today is how to build a form that allow users to change their password. Um, pretty simple, basic stuff, but it's one of those things I wanted to explain how to do. So I've started out by downloading the files from the Killer Sites University, the project files that I posted from parts 1 through 7, and this is what we're going to be using to start off with today. So I've downloaded it, I'm just going to unzip it. And I'll delete this folder. Okay, so here are our basic files. And I'm going to open up Coda and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to modify our login.php file slightly. Um, so I'm going to go down, this is login.php, the controller file. And what I want to do is I want to change the section here just a little bit. Um, the important part is I want to add in an additional session variable to store the ID of the user who logs in. So just a couple minor things here. Um, so we don't necessarily need to select star anyway because um, that selects all columns. So I'm going to specifically select the ID. So that's good. Um, that's good. We can remove the store result because we're going to be doing things slightly differently. And instead, we're going to do statement bind result. And we're going to set the ID variable. That's going to hold whatever this brings back. And then finally, uh, let me fix this. And then we're going to do the fetch command, which actually gets the data. So that's pretty good. Now, after the results of this query, the ID variable will hold the ID of the currently logged in user. And if for some reason this doesn't work, the ID is going to hold zero. So rather than num rows, I'm just going to check ID. If it's zero, we know that this query failed and there wasn't a matching login or there wasn't a matching user. Um, and we'll need to display an error. Otherwise, we can go ahead and log in. So the last change to this file is I'm going to set this up with a session. ID, and that's going to equal ID. OK, so that's all we need to change in this file. Um, we're just going to use this session variable in a couple places later in this tutorial. And I thought it would be a good thing to set it up now. The next step will be to create the actual form that changes the password. So I'm going to start out by opening up my view. And um, if you remember from posts 1 through 7, the register page was pretty similar to what we want. Um, it has three fields. What we want is an, the current password and the new password and the new password again. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm going to rename it to v underscore password. And I'm going to open it up and just make a couple basic changes here. Um, and this is basically just how things are named is all I'm changing. So basically any instances of username or user I'm changing to current pass. And password, pass and pass to I'm leaving alone. Um, I believe that's all. Let me just go through this one more time.
Okay, I believe we're good to go. Um, I guess the last change I want to make is on all the lo um, pages where the user is logged in, I'm going to also add in a link to this new page. Um, so it's going to be, I'm going to call it change password.php. Like so. And I'm going to copy this line, save this file, and then paste it into the register page. Like so, and also the members page. Okay, so now that our view set up, let's go and set up the actual controller. So again, I'm just going to duplicate the register controller. And a majority of this work will again, like in the view, be simply renaming things. Um, so this looks good. And we just need to change any existence, any um, variables that use user, and change that to current pass. So I'm simply going to copy this and go through. I'm going to change this. That. to any instances of the old username. And we also want to change any instances of the view file from register to password. Okay, that's the majority of the changes. And now the last couple things we're going to want to do is, um, so if the form is submitted, we're gonna go ahead and check. We wanna make sure that all the fields are filled in properly. And if they're not, we display error messages and show the form again. And the next step is we wanna check if the password, the new password and this repeated new password are um, the same thing if they match. So if not, we display errors and we show the form again. Um, finally, if all that is fine, we want to go ahead and process the form. And uh, we missed this one here. Let me just go up and make sure I caught. Okay, the rest of it looks good.